Gloria, and she's learning to put her head in the loop. And step one is just to touch the rope. X. This gets her to focus not on the bag full of hay, but she knows that she has to do something with the rope to get. So the fact that she's touching the bag means nothing. She doesn't get anything for that. She has to touch the X, which gets her focus onto the rope. X. Now that she's willing to touch the rope, I want her to start putting her head through the, this little loop. X. She says, I'm camera shy. Get your nose in there. One of the things that I'm trying to do is increase the distance I'm getting that on her forehead. And my goal there is to have it up over her eyes. And when I can do that pretty consistently, like that, then we're ready for the next step, which is to build some duration. So to build duration, what, I'm, what I want to do, one X, is I'm going to start a countdown backwards before I bridge. The bridge is the X part. One X. Two, one X. <laughs> Two, one X. Three, two, one X. Five, four, three, two, one, X. Five, four, three, two, one, X. Okay, yesterday we got her to put her head in the loop for some amount of duration. Now we're ready to start putting it over her ears. Five, four, three, two, one, X. Five, four, three, two, one, X. Take the rope and let it wiggle on her neck. No big deal. And then pull it off of her. When it comes time to finally get the horse to lead, it's not much of a job. So here she is. She doesn't know too much. in this exercise was get her to come up to yield to pressure when I pulled on this rope a little for her front legs to move. She did it so smoothly at the beginning that I didn't get a chance to pull against her. So there was the first time I really pulled. But she learned real quick what a little pull meant. It meant come with me. Come with me. So first we got our front end moving. 
Then once her friend end was moving, it wasn't much to ask her back end to move. X. And that's just how easy it is.